The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is up, guys? Clickwood here, back with another Madden Mobile video. Guys, it's Saturday, which means we have two new Ultimate Legends that were added to the game today. Today's Ultimate Legends, Chad Ochocinco, Sam Madison. Both very, very nice cards and both going for a lot of coins right now on the auction house. So, guys, we're going to go in and take a look at both of those cards. We're going to look at the regular base legend and the ultimate legend. And I also have a 30-pack ultimate legend set for you guys today. We're going to be opening up all those packs. So, you guys, if you enjoy this video, make sure that you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. So, let's hop into it, guys. Again, Chad Ochocinco and Sam Madison. Very nice cards. Obviously, still, there's other stuff on the auction house right now as well that's going for a ton of coins that we could potentially pull in these packs as well. Uh, but right now, we're going to take a look here at the 98 overall Chad Ochocinco and see what this thing's going for. I just looked right before starting this video, and I think the lowest one was this one right here for 880,000. So let's see if there's anything else. Yep, that looks like it's the cheapest one right now. So 880,000 for this card. Let's take a look at this thing. 94 speed, 97 excel. Very, very nice attributes there, obviously. 95 catching, 95 elusiveness as well. Um, good strength, good jumping. Pretty much a, a pretty beastly card across the board, guys. So uh, let's compare them now. Let's take a look at the 99 version of this card because this thing is a monster, guys. And obviously, you take a look at the price. This thing is going to drop a little bit in cost over the next couple of days, I assume, at least. Because right now, I think the cheapest one is $19 million. I think that's the cheapest one on the auction house right now, if I'm if I'm seeing it correctly. Now, this thing does have a plus two jump attribute for all of your cards that you would have on the field. Now, unlike console, this card is actually a pretty decent upgrade from the standard uh, 98 version. This thing has 97 speed and 97 acceleration. Those are both monster attributes. Great elusiveness, obviously. Great jumping with the 97 jumping. 85 strength as well. 95 catching, I think, is the same as the 98 version. But the fact that it's 97 speed and 97 acceleration, that is nasty, guys. I mean, this is going to be one of the best receivers in the game that we have all year, period. I mean, yeah, there might be better ones that do eventually come out, but for at least for the time being, this card is the best receiver in the game, in my opinion, and uh, I think that, I, I would assume it's probably going to stay pretty expensive for at least a while now. Yeah, I almost just pressed place a bit on that card, but, um, all right, so let's go take a look here at the Sam Madison as well, because this card is, again, really, really nice as well. Uh, I accidentally pressed 95 there, I meant to put 98, but... Um, yeah, I mean, just like the, uh, the Chad Ochocinco, obviously, the 98 version of this card is not going to be quite as expensive as the 99, um, but, uh, it is definitely a beastly card as well. This thing is pretty freaking nasty, guys. So, uh, actually, let's take a look here. I think I might have messed up there. I think there is a 97 and a 98, if I remember correctly. Is that right? Yeah, okay, so this is the 97, excuse me. Let's take a look at the 97 first, and then the 98, obviously, is the one with the boosted attributes on top of it. So, sorry about that little, little mistake there on my part, but this card is really nice as well. 94 speed with 93 excel, so it could actually keep up with the other Chad Ochocinco. Like, if it was one-on-one -on -one against it, it wouldn't just get toasted. 94 man, 95 zone, very nice attributes there. Good tackling as well at an 84 for a cornerback. That's hard to find. Uh, 92 awareness as well, so he can get some good, um, you know, counters and things like that so overall very very nice card as well now let's take a look again at the 98 version of this card um, again this one is going to give you those plus two attributes to catching for your team so I mean that's a that's a really nice attribute to add because I know you guys know when you're when people throw it up against your cornerbacks a lot of times your cornerbacks will just clank it off their hands so it's nice to have some attributes that are going to be able to increase that make it more likely that your guys are going to get those interceptions 95 speed right now uh 94 94 acceleration so it's not quite as fast as the Chad Ochocinco the um, limited edition version but this is still a really really nice card as well now this one is going for let's see here 9 million it looks like as the cheapest one uh, there's 8.2 million yeah 8.2 Two five million is the cheapest one right now for this card, so it's quite expensive to get this thing, but it is definitely a beastly card. So again, guys, we're going to try and open up one of those. Hopefully, we get one of them today, or hopefully at least get some of the higher overall elite versions of these cards. Um, 
But uh, with that said, let's take a look at the unclaimed items. I have still a ton of these quick sell reward packs. We're going to be getting, once I get to 100, I'm going to open up all of them in a video. So 100 large quick sells. You guys will see what there is yeah, what there is in those. I also have, I think, 25 of these Ultimate Legend player packs as of right now. So I'll be opening up those as well. I might save those for next weekend. Uh, but we do, again, have 30 of these Ultimate Legend packs. So uh, let's get through them, man. Let's rip these things open and see if we can get anything decent out of them so let's start it off right from the top first first one and damn we don't get anything out of this one right uh, max strong there rookie version those rookie versions the gold things just there's pretty much no value there's not really anything more than just like a standard gold card to be honest with you and we do get a strength version of brian dawkins here second pack now this is the 88 card which means it's probably the cheapest one of the bunch so it's not very good but still i mean we'll definitely take that that's certainly going to help us um definitely a nice uh, card there 88 overall um, anytime you get those elite ultimate legend players that's always nice to see so let's continue to rip here guys maybe that's going to give us some good luck maybe we'll get some more of those in our pack today we didn't we haven't been pulling a lot of the elite ultimate legends lately even like the the non-boss versions like even we just haven't pulled a lot of them do get a fletcher cox here and we get a terrell suggs too so three elites in this pack including that ultimate legend badge uh but you know not really anything super spectacular out of here it'll help pay for the pack but still not really anything great we did also get a clowny there in that pack clowny good card good card if you're you know a budget squad nothing out of this pack another max strong those fullbacks man they're just they have like no value almost even like the elite versions of them they they just don't really have a lot of value so we do get a chad ochocinco here the boost version now the weekend that these cards do come out uh they usually have a little bit of value so if you're if you're like me and you get these ones make sure that you sell them this weekend in my opinion if you're holding on to them they're really not going to increase in value uh at least not that we've seen so far so uh just keep that kind of stuff in mind guys as we're going through again it's not going to have huge value because it's a gold card but it's going to have the best value that it's probably going to have and we do get the sam madison there same type of thing here um with the plus one catching there probably going to want to sell that this weekend Continuing on here, opening another pack. Come on, elites. There we go, a campus hero. And we get the Jerry Hughes. We get two elites out of this pack. Campus hero, Adrian Claiborne. Really nice card. 93 overall with, uh, let's see here, 81 strength. Nine, or 91 strength, excuse me, 81 speed. Good ass card, man, campus hero. And then we get the Jerry Hughes, the 20 hard yard shuffle. Um, or shuttle, excuse me, I don't know I said shuffle. 20, yeah, that would be hilarious if they did a 20-yard shuffle. Like, you couldn't really, like, run. You have to just move your feet super fast. Uh, anyway, though, let's see here. Uh, 87 speed on that thing. 85 acceleration. Nice. Very, very nice. This is, that might be my new defensive end. I'm gonna have to see what that thing's going for. But this is by far the best pack we've had so far. That is a really, really nice pack, guys. We didn't get a boss legend out of it, but we got two nice mid-90 overall cards. So I am certainly happy about that. That's actually a really nice pack, guys. Very, very happy about that. Let's continue on, though. See, like I said, man, there's a lot of good stuff that you can open in packs right now. We do get another Sam uh, Sam Madison there. Like I said, a lot of good stuff that you can potentially open in packs here, so I'm, I'm happy about that. That's why I decided to open up some Ultimate Legend packs today for you guys, and hopefully you guys have good luck with your pack openings as well. Uh, if you're looking for coins, of course, make sure you hit up instantmaddencoins.com and make sure you use code CLICKWID because uh, I do have a discount code on, on there. You are going to get some money off of your purchase if you're looking to get coins on Madden Mobile or Madden Console or if you play NBA. Uh, there's also an NBA website as well. So we do get an Odell Beckham Jr. here, 88 overall, solid, solid wide receiver there. He's not as good as like some of the guys that I have. Uh, but actually, he's probably good enough to be my number three at the moment. I don't really do a whole lot of three wide receiver set. Well, I guess I do. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I guess Odell Beckham will probably play for me at some point. We'll see. We'll see what he's going for. Maybe I'll just decide to sell him. But because uh, I, I actually really like using that Chris Hogan card for some reason. I always pull him anyway, so I might as well just use him in my freaking lineup, you know. I'll probably pull that Chris Hogan like once or twice here. I'll probably pull that Jesse James here in like this pack or the next one. Another Sam uh, Madison there. I might have been calling him Sam Shields. Now that I think about it, obviously I meant Sam Madison if I did say that at any point in time. But uh, yeah. All right, so we've gotten a little bit cold here, unfortunately, in the recent packs. But we've still got quite a few to open up here. So uh, we're looking still pretty good here. Maybe we'll get something beastly. Marshawn Lynch there. Come on, baby. We need some more of those elites. Campus heroes, uh, the combine cards, anything like that, man. Obviously, the ultimate legends would be great. But uh, beggars aren't going to be choosers right now, boys. 
Come on. We still got like what? 12 packs or so. And we see we get the Chris Hogan. Like I said, that football outsiders. I told you it was coming. I told you this card was coming. We get a Justin Houston as well. 88 overall. So a uh, decent pack here. We get uh, three elites total and we get a Will Shields there as well. So uh, let's continue on here. I think I got 11 packs more to go, guys. Come on. And we get, let's see here, an Alex Smith, Steve McNair. Nothing much value there. Come on, baby. One ultimate legend boss pull, please. Come on. I, I just, ha I just like, shudder to think how many coins that other people are spending trying to pull these ultimate legends. Because, like, man, I feel like I open up a lot of packs on here. And I still haven't pulled an ultimate legend yet. Now, granted, I did pull the Reggie White legend card, but I didn't pull. I have not pulled an ultimate legend yet, despite every weekend I'm trying to pull these freaking ultimate legends. It's just not happening for me, though. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Still nothing of much value out of most of these packs, guys. Come on. Beast cards. Come on. Nope. Nothing. And I, yeah, I do the reveal all for pretty much all of them. I will I will not reveal all in the final pack. We'll save a little bit of suspense. Down to four packs, guys. Wish me some luck here. Come on. We really need to pull something else beastly because I don't think those 290s are going to and the Brian Dawkins are going to even come close to paying for how many packs have opened so far. We really need to pull one of these beast-ass ultimate legends. Get a William Hayes there, a Stars card, but not much price there. Not much of uh, auction house value, unfortunately. Come on. We do get a Travis Frederick here, 87 overall, but that's not going to be good enough. So this is going to be the final pack, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Let's open this pack up, boys. Let's open it up. Let's go from the back. Danny Woodhead, Austin Howard. Come on. Max Strong, son of a bitch. That's going to be it, guys. Damn it. We didn't pull anything super spectacular today. We did pull a pretty good uh, bundle of cards there. We got a couple of decent packs out of there. So, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure that you drop a like on it and make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thanks again so much, guys. Good luck in your own pack openings. Hopefully you guys get a Chad Johnson or a Sam Madison. Thanks again, and I will talk to you guys again soon.